Okay, I'm here. <laughs> I had to check the mail. I was waiting for some very important mail. And I'm I'm excited that, you know, it's here now. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Yeah, here we are. I'm here. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yes, I'm going to get to it. No, not tarot, but I'll get to readings. I don't know. <laughs> We'll get to reading soon. I swear, you better not be having me live. You better not have my video playing where a bunch of people can see Evan. <laughs> but here, here, how's that? I'm like, what deck are you shuffling? Like, you care. I'm just kidding. The Rider Waite Smith. Just to keep it simple, just to keep it basic. By the way, hello, Hopeful Soul 72, and hello, Sid Foley. I'm not sure if you two are still here, but <laughs> I gotta plug in my computer. I gotta, I gotta plug into Ethernet. <sighs> Should it be fine? No, I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna plug it in. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's not mid. Well, it kind of is. Honestly, it kind of is. Low-key, it is, but it's reliable. It's mid, but reliable. The decks that try and do too much tend to do too much. You know? It, it, it doesn't... It's not grounded and practical as other decks can be. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> what am I saying? It's not grounded. The other decks that do too much aren't as grounded as the Rider Waite Smith. You know, say what you will about the Rider Waite Smith, but it's it's a it's it's a solid deck. The ones that do too much, uh, I'm not gonna throw shade. Hello, Taylor. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. The ones that do too much, like I like this deck, but it can do too much there is no list taylor right now it's it's right now since there's so few people watching first come first serve so whatever i can do only when there's like a bunch of people coming in then that's when i that's when i uh that's when, that's when i that's when i don't do a list and i do the guess the numbers game and i randomly pick what is that so yeah uh so yeah you can go ahead and drop your question taylor hurry before a bunch of people come in um, but this one, this one's the Davis of creation. This isn't a tarot. It could be called an oracle deck, but I don't think the creator calls it that. She calls them like reading cards. Um, and this one has like cosmic quantum physics ideas into it. Like she'll put in there like time and space, the theme, the the idea of growth and decay, uh, dark matter. You know, I don't know what else, uh, but also like the seasons and different forms of and different ideas or, or, or forms of love in there. It's yeah. Anyways, uh, has Titus seen my new IG page? Uh, surprised he didn't block me. No contact Taurus X. <laughs> he usually blocks any page I make since I got deleted. I made another one. What? <laughs> There's a lot to unpack here. <laughs> so. Okay, so, um, why do you want, to, do you want Titus to see your page? What I believe you're describing here is online stalking. <laughs> or, you know, 
<laughs> Which I mean, if he's not contacting you, like, like I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Gunhild. TBH, just wondering. Okay, let's see. What are we going to use? What are we going to use? What to use? What to use? I low-key, there's like two decks that I'm eyeing that I want. I'm going to use this one. It's a mini deck, but I've been itching to use it. Where is it? Is it over here? Do I have it here? Did I not put it away? I guess I didn't. Where did I put it? This is a sign that I have too many. I have too many ducks. Oh, here it is. I was like, I don't remember putting it back where I got it. So yeah. Give it to me straight. Well, I can't give it to you straight. I can give it to you gay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I will. I'll do my best. You see, I have this this deck, but it's a mini. I want the full size and let out that like vintage tarot reader aesthetic because I like I like the images on this one. And I've been like, I want them, no, I want them bigger. Cause I was like, mm. You don't really need that big of a card for it. I don't know. It's just, there's something about it. There's something about it that's making me want a larger size. <laughs> and it's this one. And what's it called? The, a new one that just came out. The Ehrenberg Tarot. Uh, and very similar themes of like up close, super cl uh, like close up uh, images uh, like this. And they both have the same theme. And, but different artists. Anyways, back to you, Taylor. Let's see. Let's keep it simple. The Titus Andromeda. No, the Titus C, your IG page. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I like I like US games small decks. They're quite convenient, and there's just something about them. But I want the full standard tarot size to it. I like my my hands want that a little bit. They're great for portability and great for big spreads, but. But. Hmm. No. <laughs> Taylor, he has not. He has not, Taylor. You got the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles, yeah, always seen, though here not in this depiction. And I shouldn't do this because I hate I hate readers that do this, but the page tends to focus on more smaller particular things of a certain aesthetic that they like, something that's alluring them and attracting them. What is he? He's a uh, no contact Taurus X. So he's a Taurus. He's probably focusing on his money, which... Yeah, make sure. <laughs> Thanks, Boogie. I ain't done yet. I'm not done yet. I ain't done yet. Hanged man. That suspension. Maybe he's taking a hiatus off of social media. And the Seven of Wands, again, that's giving blocked. Seven of Wands, that's blocked. That's defense. That's So he probably, I'm like, he probably will block you when he sees it. Uh, and then... Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups just sort of like moving on again. Moving on again. So he will see it eventually, but not yet. They're probably way down the line. Probably way down the line. And then he will block you. <laughs> so. <laughs> so enjoy so enjoy stalking him. <laughs> enjoy lurking. <laughs> lurking on IG. And, you know, seeing him uh, with his new boo, you know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's mean. That's mean. Uh, there's no list, hot sun. I don't know who all in here would like a reading. So 
Yeah. I don't think there's many people that would like to like a reading. Why does it feel really warm here? Am I going to have to, I hope, oh no, I think that fan gave out. Uh, well, I don't think there's a lot of people to do the pick the numbers game, Hot Sun, so I might be able to do yours. There's only like five people watching, so. So yeah, what's up, Hot Sun? What's going on? <laughs> My neck is a little sore. I feel like I haven't been sleeping right on my neck. <laughs> Hello, Brittany. Just trying to survive the first day of Mercury retrograde. How are you? That's right. It's the first day of Mercury retrograde. And hello, LMA. Uh, my weekend was great. I had a fun Easter with the kids, uh, with my nieces and nephews. They, they, we, uh, we, and my, my family did crab in a bag. I'm not a big fan of seafood. I almost tried it, but my sister made some bomb chicken. Um, and yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I did hide eggs. I, me and my cousin helped, uh, hide the eggs uh and so it wasn't it wasn't a lot of kids it was just um three kids yeah <laughs> uh uh hello Brittany. uh it, it depends Brittany. depending on how many people are in the live stream uh that's you know it, i either do a guess the numbers game or i just you know first come first serve but i think there's quite a few people in the chat so yeah um So yeah, Brittany. So yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I don't like seafood. I'm not a fan of seafood. I'm very per no. I shouldn't say that because that's not really that's not really true. Actually, Alan, no, that's not the truth. You do like seafood. Um, so the, the seafood I like, I like I'll have sushi and I'll have like tempura shrimp and fried shrimp. Um and uh what else? And I'll have like, and I'll have like my mom's fish tacos, you know, or uh, or uh, or or tuna and rice, you know. It's just like a lazy meal sometimes. Um, and, but like, I don't know, like just yeah. The, the, and then like the crab, eating the crab just seems like a lot of work. I don't like to work for my meal, <laughs> like like uh, making the meal is hard enough which by the way i didn't even make the meal but still i'm like you're gonna make the meal and you're gonna even work and fight the food that's going that you're trying to eat you know um yeah, it's anyways anyways I, I don't know if you can hear that that's my dog crying uh so i'm gonna say right now uh yeah yeah sid <laughs> Now people are here. Yeah, I think it's because people pop on and then they see it. Like I was quiet and then I and then yeah. Um at least you hit eggs and got it really wasn't that much exercise. We just walked around and just, you know, put some put some eggs in there. So yeah. I love shrimp stir fry. I haven't tried shrimp stir fry, but the thing is is that if the shrimp looks like naked, <laughs> if it looks like it's like rubbery exposed flesh like i don't like it and i don't and i even, even worse if it has like the shell on it. it anyways hello daphne too uh shrimp scampi i don't think i've had, had shrimp scampi you should try salmon chilean sea bass monkfish they're heavier monkfish i be, i haven't tried i have had yeah i had i've had salmon uh uh my mom makes some really good salmon uh i have not tried salean salean chi bass no uh, Chilean sea bass. I so hate seafood and fish. I may have to leave again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, we're in the same boat. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't get really excited for it because, like, like I said, for example, my mom's fish tacos. It's tilapia, and it's just like it tastes nothing like fish. Like you don't get any fish flavor. It just tastes like the seasoning, almost like chicken, honestly. And plus, you put like the pico de gallo on top of it and the lemon, and it's like it's it's it's. I'm like, I can handle that, you know? 
The perch is a little heavier. Halibut and cod, I haven't tried that. And again, I'm not one that's going to be like, hmm, I'd like to get a... No, 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 no. Just give me some chicken tenders. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I could do some... I would do fish and chips before I do anything like that, you know? Yeah. No, Tina, if you love seafood, that's very good. Apparently, it's good for... It's good for you, apparently. But, yeah. Uh, the fish is... Yeah, no, I don't, I don't trust that. Unless I know the person that makes it and I've tried their fish before and they're like, yes, you know, and it's like, and they're like, yeah, you know, like my mom's fish tacos, reliable source. Let me go check on my dog. He's, he's, he's fighting for his life out there. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> my taste buds and throat don't care about my heart and brain. Literally. <laughs> literally, literally. Um, yeah, but apparently, yeah, like, apparently there's stuff in the fish, in seafood that helps, like, with your neural connections. Don't ask me. I don't know. I'm not an expert. Yeah. Oh, he's okay. He's just annoying. <laughs> That's just how he communicates that he needs to go outside. Oh, poor thing, because we never, we, yeah, yeah, he's okay. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's good. He just, he just gets, he just gets lonely. So I'm like, he just wanted to go outside. So yeah. Maybe different things are good for different people. Yeah, I'm like, I'm pretty sure you can get omega-3s from other things, like not just like from a vitamin or from fish, right? I don't know. I'm not a nutritionist. Don't come to this channel for nutritional advice. Come to this channel for tarot readings. Speaking of, who would like a reading? <laughs> Trying to, let's try to bring it back around, you know? Ooh, flax seeds. Okay. Eggs have omega-3. Okay. You see, I have, I eat plenty of eggs. I fuck with eggs. I love eggs, you know? But also, it depends on how you prepare things. Like, apparently, like, if you cook, like, bell peppers, they lose a lot of, like, the vitamin C that they have. And they have, and bell peppers have a lot more vitamin C than, like, oranges and citrus fruits, you know? See? Yeah. The, the vegans are onto something hot sun. Okay, so Daphne, hopeful soul hot. Okay, okay. I, we have a few people. We have a few people that want to read that want readings. Guess what we're gonna do? Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what we're doing. Well, for those who aren't new here, who are familiar with my work, um, I'm gonna use you. I haven't. I have. I don't read with this deck, but I just like it so much. <laughs> it's the. We're gonna use the Fountain Tarot for the, our pick of cards for our uh, guess the numbers game. I want to fish free reading. Well, watch now, Sid. Now the page of cups is going to come at you now. Like. <laughs> ah, some eggs have O3s, but not all. Okay. <gasps> I love bell peppers. I fuck with bell peppers. Bell peppers raw. I fuck with those, you know. <laughs> The Page of Cups is 11 or 14. It depends on what person you, 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 you what, what the reader wants from the system of court cards that they use, you know, but yeah. Uh, 
Eglen's best have Omega. Okay. Oh, and your birthday is 11. <laughs> you can't avoid it. You can't avoid it, Sid. Okay, so guess the numbers game. For anybody that's new here that's not familiar with the guess the numbers game, I pull a card at random, and you guys guess whether it is between 0 to 21. You can guess as many times as you want. Just don't spam it. Like a certain Aquarius Capricorn cusp that I know. And uh, what else? I feel like I'm forgetting something. But yeah, I guess as many times as you want, just don't spam. Not yet, Sid. And wait for the banner to show up. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Daphne's like, hold on, I gotta, I gotta lock in. <laughs> Daphne said, I gotta lock in. <laughs> okay, so after, I mean, essentially, yeah. <laughs> no, no, stop it. Stop. Not yet. Is the banner up? The banner is not up. We got it. <laughs> I'm going to stop this live stream if you guys can't pull it together. Oh my God, Sid. Okay. 22 isn't even one of the numbers. Now, now you guys can guess. And I can hear my dog crying to want to come back inside. Oh my gosh, I'm ready to fight him. But he's fine. He's an angel. He can never do anything wrong ever in his life. No, it's none of those. Not 9, not 15, not 18, not 11, not 6, not 5, not 7. Your dog is a cat. <laughs> yeah, he's a chihuahua. So they have, right? Chihuahua's got like that feline attitude in them sometimes. Not two, not three, not nine. Oh, let me see. Let me wait a little bit. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hopeful soul got it. No, hopeful soul, stop moving chat. Eight of wands. Hopeful soul, congratulations. Daphne guessed second, like right after Sid. But hopeful soul got it first. <laughs> That's why I'm like, why does it look weird? Because I didn't turn on my light. I'm forgetting a lot of things. Do you see how do you see where I'm at? You see the type of the type of person I am? Eight of Wands. So Hopeful soul. What's your question? And as always, if you guys don't want to even bother with the guess the numbers game and you just want to be very, very generous and like skip the guess the numbers game and you know, you know, and visa and support the channel as well, you can donate to my PayPal or through my super chat, you know, whatever you like, you know. Yeah. Uh let's see. So so what is your question, hopeful soul? Yeah, it is a really cool version. I quite like this one. Like, it's like giving sunrise, but it's like coming from this island, like rays of sun or something. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. And then like, you see a path there. It's, there's, there's stuff to read into it. But anyways. Theme of the week. I need encouragement. Hmm. What to use? What to use? What are we going to use for you? Hmm. That's that seems too intense. It seems a bit much. Give me a second. I'm going to find you something else. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, Duh, it's right here. I'm like, wait a second. First of the month, I want some motivation. Well, Mercury retrograde is probably going to get in the way of that. It's like, I'm still in like the...
I mean, in a way, it's like I wouldn't call it spirit, but like I'm like I would I identified more with like Christian hot sun in a way. Um, but I'm becoming a little more flexible on that. And so, yeah, I haven't, I, I, it's not that I don't believe in spirit. I just don't tune into spirit or anything like that, uh, for, uh, for when I work with the tarot or anything. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, um, believe in spirit when I do. I, I'm slowly warming up to it and maybe want to connect to something like that uh, and start doing that. But I'm like, mm, I like, I got to like prepare myself for that. I feel just again from religious trauma, probably and like being taught that things like that will, will you know, corrupt my soul and send me to hell and shit like that. You know, uh, it, it, it prevents a lot of me like, from doing that so yeah let's see let me get let me let my dog inside come on okay thank you hopeful soul <laughs> So, I mean, down the line, hopefully, I would like it to be like a, like to connect in a, like, more like a grounding way, you know? And expand into other stuff, uh, but, you know, slowly but surely. We'll see. I'll, 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 I'll share my experiences if I, if you know, I feel comfortable about it. But yeah. Anyways. Anyways, theme of the week for hopeful soul. Okay, pickles. You good? You good, girl? All right. See, there's a lot to unpack in that statement there, hot center in that opinion. You know, the cards were created so people could talk to God or get messages from God. You know, I think it's more so um, we have that ability but we project that ability onto the cards. I don't think the cards were necessary. I don't believe the cards were necessarily created for that because I think you could do that without anything at all through prayer. But I think you could do that as well through, I think, I think um, uh, oracles in, uh, let's say China or countries that, that, uh, that use the I Ching uh, then would, would their form of, God, it wouldn't be God, it would be the Tao, you know, and then they'd be connecting through that or, you know, calculating that in a way. Um, I need to do more research in that, but so that's the basic idea. Uh, you know, but I think they, they, I think it was like a form of like, like, I think it was just another art form you know, uh, that, you know, the, the, the Christian and all that, you know, uh, you know, the, 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 the Christianity, uh, made those arts. We're, we're getting into, into subjects that are like, are, are like detracting me from the reading, but hold on, uh, let me pull the cards and then I'll, and then we'll talk and then we'll talk more about this. <laughs> I 
I know I'm cute. Thanks. Thanks, Evan. Hmm. Okay, so you gotta you gotta calm the mind. <laughs> Hopeful soul. Uh you have the four of swords. If it'll focus. See that meditation, that rest, calming of the mind. It's secluded almost. Um, and then you have the page of swords as well. What I find interesting is that she's barefoot on these boulders. But there's 56 minor arcana. You know, there's you're you're you're, you're just checking me. Anyways, um so yeah, the page of swords, she always comes up, she always comes up and she always gives me a hard time, but I think it is going to I think it is like you know, a, a time of mental reservation if that makes sense does that make sense is that the right word is that what i'm trying to say it's about you know almost like going into the hermit mode but more so uh but but not so much you know um yeah situating your mental processes if that makes sense uh and then the Queen of Pentacles as well. A focus on the body. Uh, a focus on the body is, and also uh, your resources. And what are you what are you nurturing and growing for that? So I guess it's in a way. This might be more mental, in a sense. Uh, this this week is all about mental nurturance. I'm gonna say bottom of the deck uh you have the ten of wands and that's kind of like kind of saying like beware ignoring your responsibilities during this time you know you still got things to do you still got chores to do but uh so don't let this don't let this you know, get in the way of, uh, thank you, L. <laughs> get in the way of, uh, the tenor of, of, of your responsibilities and what's, what's, what's on your plate at the moment. Um, so yeah, I guess, I guess that's all I got for you, hopeful soul. <laughs> I'm waiting for her to respond. That's the thing about these. I'm like, I want, I want the back and forth. <laughs> if she's still here, are you still here, hopeful soul? <laughs> yeah, I think it, yeah, I think it's sort of like it's interesting. I've never seen the like I was like, that's like it's hard to do that with with this, you know. Thinking of my responsibility makes it hard to quiet the mind. Yeah, uh, you know. So it's like kind of telling you ignore your responsibilities. I think I think it's kind of saying, maybe perhaps it's saying for this week, maybe put some responsibilities away. Is it really that important to fold your laundry immediately? Yeah, yeah, kind of is, but. 
you know. Or, um, you know, th does that thing have to be taken care of right this moment? Does it, though? It's, I'm like, it's procrastination. It's telling you to procrastinate. <laughs> to just give yourself a moment to breathe and gather yourself, you know. Uh, does it have to be done that very moment? But again, but once you are, once you have gathered yourself, then you can continue, you know. I love making lists and those lists guide me and intimidate me at the same time. I like, especially, especially when it's like, okay, I have a lot of different things going on having to do with different people and different responsibilities that definitely the lists help. But that's the thing about the lists is that it's there and you can forget about it. You can get it out of your mind and have the list somewhere where you're not going to obviously not lose the list, but that's where you can, Put it aside, gather yourself, take a break, you know. It doesn't even have to be like a whole day. It can just be like 10 minutes, 30 minutes, you know. Go, you know, you know, uh, something, you know. A nice lunch where you can take your time, you know. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> where you can take your time and enjoy your meal, you know. Um I appreciate your kindness, you know, your delivery uh, doesn't make me feel stupid. Well, th thank you. That's part of the roar. That's part of like, that's like, I feel like 50% of doing a tarot reading is communicating and connecting with the querent, which is why I feel like, I, you know, I want to do more in person or more one-on-one, -on -one. maybe try some audio video calls or something here. Uh, okay. Good night, Gunhild. Um uh to try you know to try and connect more uh so you know just yeah but, but to the to the querent and yeah uh yeah amira there's no list there's no list i don't do a list here uh we do the guess the numbers game and uh yeah and hot sun you you bring up you bring up you bring up topics that i've talked about quite a bit in the past and i've and uh, I need to refresh my memory on it, but playing cards and those, I, I haven't really uh, gone into so much. Um, but again, for another live stream or another video that I'll do. Uh, so yeah, so who all here would like a reading? I believe Amira, I think Hot Sun also wants one. Um, but we'll see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. They do. I have um I just recently got uh uh oh it's all right, hopeful soul. That's your problem. You're on an iPad, Apple, or a tablet, then you just call it an iPad. I don't know. I don't know. Some people do that. Does anyone do that? Just call their tablet an iPad? Well, I mean I call my tablet a tablet because I have a tablet. I got a tablet, but I don't call it an iPad, but I do so know some people do. Uh how has reading tarot changed for from you uh, since you first began? That is a good question. But again, <laughs> for another live stream, Daphne. But it definitely has changed. Um, for sure, I kind of feel like a little bit more jaded about it. Um, and for sure, like how I read, particularly with the deck that I like read like the back of my hand. Now I'm kind of like, mm, what's going on here again with it uh, is the Marielle. Uh, but I, I do, I do, I have a good handle on it, but you know, this deck is very intense, um, but it's, I love it. I love it though. But, it, but for sure it has changed. Um, I wish, I, I wish to change more intentionally, you know, from doing live readings, my readings have changed like, you know, quite a bit, but uh, from, but I would like to, you know, intentionally change other things like again more in-person readings that's definitely gonna alter how i read uh more 
uh, I don't know. It's some, some, yeah, just, just as an example, using more spreads. You know, I just go with my three card, maybe nine card sometimes, but just the three card is what I usually do. Three card spreads. Um, but I do wanna, I, I do wanna now start venturing out to doing different spreads with different positions where the cards mean different things. So yeah. Anyways, you're welcome, hopeful soul. Take those breaks. <laughs> uh, and thank you again. Uh, for stopping by, yeah. Uh, that's funny, hopeful. So yeah, it isn't for the new Jack, but I was the new Jack to Tarot, and that was my deck that I learned with. So, you know, it's 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 that's, and then I learned Rider Waite Smith more and the 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 Thoth more. But anyways, anyways, okay, okay. So I got another card. I got another card here. Everybody that wants a free reading. Get ready. Okay. It's gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. We're gonna. When the banner comes up, start guessing. Okay, go. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it was way out of like the references that that Marielle would make was way out of my uh out of my like depth but i learned th those references i learned what she was referencing in those um uh and yeah so uh so, so yeah uh, did someone say did someone say it no 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 oh hot sun got it the three of wands Congratulations, hot sun. Well, yeah, but it's not nice. <laughs> Next time, Amira, there will be another round. Or did she say three? No, she said two. I'm just checking. I'm double checking my work. Yeah, no. Always connect to the card. Feel its energy. I said three, two. I didn't see it. I didn't see it, Amira. Oh, wait. Ella May said it. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Ella May said it, said it after. Yeah, hot sun set it here. And then eight, six, twenty-one, fifteen, thirteen, eight, seven. And then AA said page of AA went for the gut for, went for the jugular and said page of swords. I ain't even gonna guess the number. I'm gonna guess the exact card. That's crazy. No, no, no. Guess the number. <laughs> You'll have more chances that way. Um yeah, I didn't see it. Sorry, Amira. Yeah, next time, Amira. Next time. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. What are Matt's intentions and next actions towards me? I'm like, just to go with the Three of Wands already. This is such an interesting Three of Wands. Like, it feel, I feel like he's like spinning the rope or he's braiding it. I don't know. There's something in it. Anyways, there's a lot you can read into that. Let's see. Uh... We're gonna go with the Thoth. The Thoth. The Toth. The Thoth. Thoth. He lives far away. I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same boat. So are you guys friends? Are you guys exes? Are you guys where did you guys date? Are you guys friends? Are you guys co-workers? Colleagues? Long distance connection. Okay. So there's, so you're, I, I get the impression that you're interested in him or no. Ah, <laughs> I love it. I love it, Hatsa. <laughs> Not talking to him until his divorce is finalized. Once you see that, once you see it's finalized, you up. <laughs> 2 a.m. text, you up. <laughs> No, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. 
Uh, but yeah, you know what? Respect. But I mean, if he's going through the divorce, like, or has he not served the papers yet? That that's everybody's being. Ooh. Mm, I respect that hot son. I respect that. I can respect that. I don't need karma. Yeah, you don't need that mess. You don't need that mess. You don't need those connections. Here's the next question. Does he have kids? He might be bro. <laughs> He'll be a victim of divorce court. <laughs> she can go breathe down someone else's back. Uh, I hate to break it to you. Uh... <laughs> if they done, they done. I would be in um... <laughs> No kids. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm just well, I mean, not, not like thank God, like maybe if they wanted kids and they weren't able to, that's, I'm like, oh, that's upsetting. But <laughs> still less. Okay. Okay. Even better. Even better. Oh, yeah, she kind of, you see, you see, honestly, honestly, more work. It's way too much work. But, it, you know, if the heart is in it, yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> Amira, Amira, no, 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 we don't know. We don't know her. We don't know the ex-wife. We don't know the ex at all. <laughs> Way out of pocket. <laughs> Way out of pocket. Oh, gosh. Oh, never mind. Do it again, Amira. Yeah. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> no, no, no. Full shade. <laughs> That was Chidi broke it. No, okay, okay, okay. We're let's, let's bring it. Let's be focused here. Pay attention, everyone. Pay attention. We have to do a reading. Okay. Now that's funny. How is she going to be cheating on her? And you're worried. You don't have to be worried about it because. How is she going to be breathing down your neck or his neck because she's the one that cheated anyways? I respect the hot sun. You're, you're set in your ways and that's your boundary. Yeah. Oh, Daphne, you're going to get many of these in, in these, in these live streams. Yeah. The karma. Yeah. The, the, the current karma. Is that a thing? Current karma? Because karma is like what, what you get in the next life, you know? Or what you got in a previous life, what you did in a previous life affecting this life, and what you do now affecting the next life. If you believe in reincarnation, which I kind of do, but I don't. I kind of do. Yeah. Possessive and controlling. Interesting. She's possessive and controlling, and yet she cheated on him. Hmm. So let's see, what's Matt's intention? First of all, Matt, is he, is it short for Matthew or Mateo? Or Maddie? What? And this is all for a white man, hot son. <laughs> Just kidding. Mmm, Matthew. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Hmm. 
That's what cheaters usually are. Insecure and control. That's true. That's true. That's interesting. The psychology of a cheater. It's yeah. He's white too. Mm. Evan, are you watching? The white boys. Did you see how they got everyone? <laughs> I'm like, mm. I'm like, well, well, the nickname Matt is a pretty, that's a pretty white, like, nickname. <laughs> okay, enough shuffling. <laughs> Very white. Ooh, what's going on here? Oh! I guess the I guess the guy he's chaotic. <laughs> it's from the but yes, <laughs> I know, I know, but I'm like if it's but it's 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 been pretty. Uh, oh, he's Catholic. He's Catholic. White Irish, Irish. Which is funny. I'm like, well, I'm like, because again, this probably you got to get them jeans. You got to get lucky. Tr <laughs> well, speaking of speaking of taste the rainbow, what's on the other side of the rainbow? You got uh, temperance or art uh, from the toast. Um, blending. It, he's going. Ooh, ooh, and then you got the six of wands. Victory. Okay. A little bit of everything of the British Isle. Okay, so he's just like the mixed bag. And lust. He gonna dick you down, girl. <laughs> he gonna he gonna give you those. Oh no, 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 no. Let's keep it. Let's keep it respectable. He's gonna he gonna yeah. It's it, the it's it's giving it's giving um it's giving sex. <laughs> <laughs> you know now meet to me oh <laughs> amira <laughs> um bottom of the deck you have the page of discs now this is where i'm like i'm like okay you got the man how good is it though how good is that dick what if the dick isn't that good what if it isn't what if he's not that good like, and this doesn't have to do, uh, oh, oh, <laughs> Freak. he's broke, he's broke, <laughs> with the princess of discs, no, I wouldn't say that, well, we like a princess of discs, but at the bottom of the deck, I guess not, yeah, uh, I, what I'm, what I'm worried about is the longevity, what if it's small, let me tell you, let me tell you, Guys that are small, they're either going to be like insecure, have very little uh, experience, but the ones that do, the ones that are like, let's say like four inches, they will go above and beyond to pleasure their partner, to compensate. Oh, and he's not little. Okay, so he may he may just be resting on his laurels, on the laurels of his inches, but still, he's above average. Okay, okay, okay. Again, if we're prying and we're touching onto something that's a little like that you don't want on the internet, hot sun, just you know, tell us and we'll back off, you know. <laughs> but the passion is there, very fiery, very hot, very ooh, ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, the Six of Wands might be indicating, like, yeah, divorce, finalize, he's going to get you, he going, you know. But how is he going to treat you well after? How is he going to be in the long run? How long is this going to last? Fire burns real hot and real fast. How are you going to keep the kindling? Look at all the wood, all the forest, all the forest right there, you know. Is it going to be... A forest fire or are you gonna manage the flame tend to it keep it balanced like the sixes are you know 
more so like what what are you gonna do when he is out of that divorce and you are together and that passion is just explosive and it's 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 unforgettable and it's yeah but again sure the dick is good but how is he when he not fucking you know you know how is he at his at his core you know eventually things are gonna pop up yeah <gasps> hello sylvan sylvain sylvain love sylvain love his channel love his content everybody stop what you're doing everybody stop go and subscribe to his channel okay now come back okay we're nerds. We like to read. Oh, wait. That's cute. Wait, now I want to know. What did you guys last read? <laughs> if you guys aren't subscribed to Sylvain, he doesn't do readings. He does do terror, but he doesn't do readings like I do right here. Um... But he, uh, but he does, he does, he does great, he does great videos. That's all I can say. <laughs> the news. Well, I guess the, I guess the sparks fly and the passion's there for other people, but the news. You know what? I get it. <laughs> Um, but definitely consummation and acting on that lust. Like literally, like let's kind of take it there. He's gonna. I think he. he I think he may sign together. Nerds. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's very cute, actually. How sweet. Um, yeah. <laughs> no. uh, but again, seems like he's gonna. He's gonna wanna. He sounds like a no. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> you really are nerds. You see, they're made for each other. If they both like that, then yeah. Now, so the thing is, though, is that you're not really talking to him that much long distance because he's still going through the divorce process and all that. And you want that to be finalized and all that. You got, you got to like get to know him before i feel like you know or i don't know how much how well you know each other you know how close you two are doesn't mean you know we were talking every day all day for months love that and then what happened and then because of the, then you're like i don't want to continue with this until you're divorced fully uh Right, the talking stopped. Right, like the talking like was cut down to a minimum. What a got me a new man. <laughs> well, it's it's that's the thing. Yeah, like you're holding yourself up for this for 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 him. But yeah, I stopped a couple of months back because there was. Uh, stalking and divorce, so I said I'll hold off until it's over and he got mad. I mean, well, I, that's for your safety, technically, like if, uh, stalling, not stalking, sorry. <laughs> Stal stalking, sorry, yeah. Um, yeah, okay, then yeah, 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 okay, stalling, then yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's a cap. <laughs> I was gonna say, when I heard, like, the science stuff and, like, he's got money, I was like, Mm, is he a cap? <laughs> I don't want any reason to get deposed. To get deposed? But anyways, yeah, okay. Let me rephrase my thing. I was like, stalking, the stalking. No, not stalking, stalling. Sorry, the dyslexia, the dyslexia one on that one. Um, so stalling. Okay, then yeah. So you're like, you know what? I'm like, deal with it you know deal, work through that and if you're like 
not going through it. But I feel like divorces take a long time, can be can take a while sometimes, depending on the couple, I think. Let's see. Let me look it up. When did he start his divorce? Uh, let me see. Let's look up average time it takes. <laughs> average time it takes to get pregnant. Average time it takes to finalize divorce. Let's see what it says. On average, it takes 15 months to get a divorce in California. That's in California. Uh, no, don't take my location. You don't need to know. You don't need to know my distance. You don't need to know my. You don't need to know my my tea. That's in California. Uh, too much money to lose because there's no prenup and she keeps picking fights. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I hear my dog crying. I'm going to go let him in right now. Um, but I think he... Uh, to, to show, though, I think these are great cards. It's giving BS. Cards say otherwise, Amira. It seems that, you know, I. it seems that he's trying to get out of there. And I think it... And also, it might be too much fire, but... Um, Again, once he's done with the divorce, he's on and cracking that back. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. Yeah, when one picks a fight, there's more stalling. Yeah, with the fighting. Yeah. Uh, she's being difficult because he's made her life bougie. <laughs> hey, if you have that, if you make, if you, if you have that life situation, like, listen, is she... She's trying to she's trying to make his pockets hurt so that she's secure. That back ice cream. <laughs> I know. Um, I know. I, know. I have my moments. Um, it, she probably wants some security because she probably wants to like put up as much time before she has to actually get a job um, and go into a lower tax bracket and you know. You know, instead of, instead of, um, I don't know, instead of, uh, instead of, uh, what's it called? I'm trying to think, uh, instead of, uh, I'm trying to make a good comparison instead of, there's a restaurant here, really nice restaurant. It's not, a, is it a chain? I'm not sure. It's called La Costa. Uh, but it's, it's, it's a seafood restaurant. Instead of La Costa, she's going to start reading, she's going to start eating, I read lobster now, you know. Um, she works, but he makes three times more than her. I mean, still. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm like, well, three times three times zero is still zero. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, go away. There we go. Uh, I would have took all my money out. Right. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. There's ways that you can't, there's things you can't do uh through divorce but uh let's bring it back to the question where is it yeah what are matt's intentions and next actions towards me towards you yeah i'm like you like I said, the passion's there. The passion is there. He wants to finalize his divorce and, and, and you know, get it on. <laughs> you know? There you go. And I, you have to, I would say, I mean, it's up to you, but I mean, I, I wouldn't, I, I'm, I'm weird when it comes to cutting off communication. I, 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 I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's something absolutely heinous, like I'd like to keep that line of communication open. Yeah, the sign is uh, hey, but hey, girl, hot son, baby girl, you did that to yourself. You know, you did that to yourself. <laughs> you know, uh, there are other women trying to get on him, and I hear he's trying to beat them off the bat. 
now is that what a different is that what another reading is that what another reader told you <laughs> hot son <laughs> um i think he does care about you though i think he does have a good interest in you and i think there's a good the chemistry with you i think he also feels that as well i want chicken tenders now and sorry random thought but um <laughs> um but yeah i think i think he does want to get out of his marriage and move on uh oh okay okay no a friend told me who knows him okay yeah i just people ha like to like hop around on readers and be like this reader told me i'm like listen to that reader why are you coming to me like you just devalued that other reader's reading anyways uh mm. okay but at least it's like they're telling you like he's rejecting them and he's like he has it's kind of reassuring you that you know he has eyes only for you but um yeah the, but it's still I'm, I'm still concerned with the princess of discs it could recommend it could recommend it could be referring to um to the to to the wife soon to be ex-wife um uh and you know possibly maybe i'm not sure um Hmm. It's just taking so long and it makes me wonder if he's just going to stay single and not reach out. I I would say uh well, I mean How long has when did he start getting his divorce? That was what like months ago? When was that? Drat housework. I missed most of today. It's all right. It's all right. It's it. I'm going to stay on for another hour. You know, how long has this, you know, uh, waiting is so dead as fuck. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's weird to wait for someone, you know, but it, it's, it's if you really care for them, I'm in this, uh, I'm not in the exact same situation as you, Hassan, but I'm in something similar. Uh, well, yeah, but talk is cheap. Waiting is irritating. But what helps the waiting pass is the communication, I think. Started at the end of 2022 and then stopped at some point in 2023. Started back up a couple of months after stopping. Okay, so at some point in 2022. Okay. Okay. My partner is only silent when he doesn't want to say no. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's an interesting thing he doesn't want to say no so that means he's saying yes <laughs> so when he goes silent i know he's just too chicken to say no I'll, oh okay but he want okay so so uh okay 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 okay, okay. i'm like wait he doesn't want to say no that means he wants to say yeah <laughs> but he's being quiet no 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 that means that means he doesn't like he doesn't want to say no so he doesn't say anything but he doesn't want to say yes. He wants to say no, but he doesn't want the the, the to reject. He hates the rejection. Uh, well, he has to learn, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it now, Sid. Yeah, I've 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 been in situations like that where it's like you know. But I usually try to say like, I want to say no. But unfortunately, I can't. You know, it, it's 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 vocalizing but also acknowledging it's it's vocalizing like this is how i feel this is kind of like where i'm standing on it but acknowledging what you want i just i got distracted by by sid but yeah yeah he's gotten better yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so hot sun to stop harping on this and focus on this very solar fiery uh oh yeah that's also interesting that I noticed it's Sagittarius 
ruled by Jupiter. Leo. Uh, 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 Leo ruled by the sun. But here we have the sun, Jupiter, and Leo. I'm sorry, I'm getting into astrology here. It's all right, Sid. It's all right. It's all right. Um, it's it's all content in the end. <laughs> but it brings up a good point. It brings up a good point that, um, that you have Jupiter, six is the sun, and Leo as well. I'm like the blending there. It's like a fiery alchemical mix of just harmony and victory. This is like a good sign. You got to no more waiting. Take action. Take action. Send someone to threaten his ex. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, no. Don't do that. You know, and, and that being said, this is for entertainment purposes only. This is only, you know, you don't this. this I am not an expert in any field of for you know, anything, you know, just, you know, just a big disclaimer there. <laughs> uh, I don't see a timeline. I, uh, again, I could do that. I could pull a card for that. I could pull a card for that. I don't chase. Uh, don't chase. You got him. Hot son, you're not chasing. You got his ass. You got him. You got him by the balls, you know? It's sort of like, the, you know... I I hate to, I, I, I hesitate to, to sound so confident in that, but um, legal stuff, if that is still the case with the X takes time. Yeah, 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 it, it definitely does. Um, but again, I would say you spending time with him well, actually, and him enjoying his time with you is going to push him to really continue fighting off his wife and, 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 and finalizing the divorce. You don't chase, but you wait. What's worse, chasing or waiting? I feel like chasing is like, you're chasing someone that doesn't really acknowledge you and doesn't really care about you as much as you do for them. Um, but that's not the case here hot sun i'm not waiting either i mean so what are you doing hot sun Ah, uh, you've been busy. Okay, yeah, okay. But still, if you're interested in him, you can do both. Chasing gives you gives you to gives you opportunity to see other options. <laughs> gives you no opportunity, or gives you to, or gives you, oh, right? I don't know. Anyways. So yeah, I can pull a card from the only time will tell and see. <laughs> Princess of the Disc is not chasing, but she's very focused. Right. You're right, Sylvain. You're right. You're right. You're so right. <laughs> and that too. That too. That's also fair. So why do you care so much about this man? <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like Sid is saying, if 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 you're focused on you, and just put him on the back burner, that's fine. Because again, he's 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 busy working on that. He can't really, he wouldn't really be able to focus on a relationship uh, outside of the one that he's trying to get out of legally, at least. Um, I know, Amira. I know. It's because again, it's part the chat, part me. Yeah. <laughs> But why is he here now? He's not. But, so why are you doing a reading on him? Then? <laughs> Keep him on that back burner. Don't don't turn off that back burner. Keep that fire there. 
Yeah, he's on the counter getting called. <laughs> See where the energy is at. Well, the energy, honey, honey, the energy is hot. The energy is hot. It's fiery. It's solar. It's expansive. It's 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 popping. Uh, this does not tell me back burner, honestly. <laughs> These are not back burner cards. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good sign. I'm like, that's why I'm like, what are you doing? I'm focusing on my money. Go after him. I'm just kidding. No, focus on your money. So that, because I think that'll also, if you are also, again, building your own financial stability for yourself, he would actually, he would probably actually like that even more because he's probably like, you know, you'd both be a little bit more financially equal you know, compared to his previous relationship and not to compare you to the ex, you know, no one likes to be compared, but, you know, yeah. That's another thing, yeah. And you wouldn't, you wouldn't move for him. It's probably, if, he, if he's more financially comfortable than probably, yeah. He doesn't want me to work. I told him too bad. <laughs> He doesn't want you to work. I mean, like, he saw how that, how, like, someone that, that made less money than him saw that. But anyways. Uh... All right, Daphne. Yeah, have fun. Enjoy your movie. What movie are you going to watch? Real quick. Um... Yeah, people can do both. And he's, and if he's, again, I don't know how much money he's making. But if he's financially stable enough, again, this is where you, like, can buy buy someone to help you know with with with, with child care nannies and stuff like that you know um that's true he should also be taking yeah and he should also be taking care of them kids too And you can work for, hey, there you go. There you go. Though I will say it's still quite difficult with kids. Uh, you don't have kids yourself, do you, hot son? I feel like you would have mentioned that. <laughs> it's this reading, it's, 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 it's me like getting invested in this, like, you know, none, okay. That's true. Card save, card save partner. I mean, the art, lust, and victory. Like, yeah. So to round this off, so we can do one more reading. And we can continue that, you know. <laughs> Hot Sun, do you want me to pull a card to see uh, a timeline of some sort? Any date that we could see the or something? Uh... We all know how the guys want the sexy. No, that's why you get one that he's not attracted to. Okay, so a timeline for what? You know? When he gets back with you, which is different from him getting a divorce from his wife, or um, I don't know, so somewhat. Give me a give me a specific like what what time do you want to know for what specific thing? Give me give me give me something a little specific here, so we can wrap this up and we can move on to the next reading. Okay, when he's able to move to me. Okay, there we go. Good night, LMA. Or when I get pregnant. <laughs> well, the cards will say, like, once you guys do get together, you will get pregnant. <laughs> I feel. Especially with art, alchemy, and all that, and 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 lust, and 
to it's i don't i don't know it's like it's yeah so yeah um i like it to be this year well let's see when is he going to be able to move to move to you let's see whether that's move on to you or move to you and yeah yeah i like the when is he able to you know i think that's that makes it clear i think Now this deck isn't as 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 like it's this deck is is weird, but we'll see. Just let me know, keep me updated to see how it goes. Because again, this deck can be like tomorrow. It's like what <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, he, we want a lot, so uh, so we have to get started soon. Well, you better do it before all the retrogrades start. You know. I just feel like he able to do shit now. Right, Amira? Hello, sunshine. Okay. Well, this one particularly, because this one's like so clear and direct. Yeah, right, right, right. I have twins. Thursday. So not tomorrow. Thursday. Thursday, this Thursday. I'm just kidding. It could be Thursday, this Thursday coming up. It could be the next Thursday. It could on a Thursday. That's all it is. It's gonna be on a Thursday. A quadruplets. What is it? Sex six tuplets? Six tuplets. That's what I told you. Like this deck will throw out a day or a day. It's gonna be on a Thursday. A Jupiter day, a day of Jupiter. Maybe in Leo season or in Sagittarius season. It depends. So, yeah, I told you this deck isn't as like, but on a Thursday. Set tuplets, right? I don't know how, how I, I can't remember. Uh, hello, Darcy. It's all right. I'm like, it's, it's, I'll be on longer. Mark all Thursdays, right? Hit them up on a Thursday. Light a candle on Thursday, you know. Do small things on Thursdays to bring him to you, you know. Get those get one of those like cord cutting spell candles whatever that they do so that so that he can separate from his wife faster. Super nice. Yeah, this deck is like it's like it could be like even though it's like Thursday. It was like which Thursday? So yeah, I was hoping for like maybe something else, you know, like oh like hey like the twenty fourth, you know. <laughs> At least you didn't get a time. <laughs> Sex is a great subject. It is, but it's not. It's not advertiser friendly, which I did well. Well, I talked about it way deep into the live stream, so and I didn't get graphic. Anyways. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna say focus on that Jupiter energy. Um, and again, all right, go get your dinner started. I wonder what we're gonna have for dinner too. Let me see. I'm like, I I should check. I should check and see if. Okay, no calls. Okay, I'm just checking. Okay, okay, just making sure. It's 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 ass backwards, Sid. <laughs> no, let's see. Uh okay, okay. Yeah, I'm like, when does the also I think the Mercury Mercury retrograde Yeah, that makes sense because I believe the Mercury retrograde It goes out. We go out of uh it's mercury stations direct on the 25th of april the eclipse is on a monday i think yeah uh it's on monday but the sun conjuncts mercury on the 11th anyways <laughs> 
Yeah, it started today, ends on the 25th, yeah. The 8th, yeah, April 8th, yeah. I have it on my calendar. I'm keeping track this time. <laughs> that is true. This is also true. Sid is speaking some truth here. Like, I know my astrology. But that sounds right. That makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so there you go, hot sun. How much do you get to see from there? Is that from where I'm at? I don't think I'm going to see much. I don't even know if I'll be able, I don't think I'll be able to see it. I think it'll look like a normal sun. I hope he hurries it up. It's going to be on a Thursday. Something's going to happen on a Thursday. That's that's what it is. Look at, look at, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to start new things during a retrograde, but completions are great during that. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, because I remember, I because I listened to the astrology podcast, and they were saying that, like, because everything was, like, stationing direct, like, during the start of the year, they're like, it's a good time to get things started. So, yeah. Um, you're welcome, Hudson. I wish the timing cards were a little more clear but yeah yeah like chicago down to like i want to say i want to say like louisiana maybe the eclipse is gonna maybe maybe the eclipse will affect his divorce let's see where's the path of the eclipse path of the eclipse 2024 let's see where's the map here it is oh It'll, no, no, no. It'll be, uh, yeah, from Texas to Maine. It'll be like a weird arch. Um, so, like, so Texas to Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio. But that's the path of totality. Yeah, it's like going to be a lot in the East Coast. And and I believe if you're like a little bit off, like I think in like if you're in maybe in Florida, you might see a partial eclipse. Like it'll look a little weird, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, hopefully the divorce and I think once there's more retrogrades coming up, I think those will help push that that divorce let me go let my dog in he's been crying to be to be let back in i'm like oh, oh let him in right now Oh, no, 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 that's Carmelo that's crying. Pickles, Pickles stays right here on the ground next to me. Like, the, her bed is right here. Like, right, like, right down here on the ground. Carmelo, he's over there. He's the one that got neglected, unfortunately. <laughs> Hot Actually, no, you are neglecting a pickle. An above average pickle, apparently. Hot sun. I'm sorry, if I got a man that was like, Art, lust, six of wands, and all, like I'm running to him right now. Yeah. 
But his name is Matt Hot Sun. I'm just kidding. It's not my pickle yet. You can make it yours. I'm just kidding. I know I I get your 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 stance on things and all that. How dare I accuse you of it? Don't you dare. I'm just kidding. I, he he does get you know a, a bit of the the short end on the stick on the in terms of the attention, but he's not the one with seizures, you know, <laughs> and needs like constant flow of medication. Um, so yeah, and he and pickles also doesn't pee all over the house and on the walls and on furniture like Carmelo does. So you know, anyways. Um, But anyways, like, even if you're not in the path of totality, you'll still see the eclipse do some things. Like, you'll still see, like, I think, like, a bite being taken out of the sun or something. Pickles are meant for eating. How old a dog is that? Pickles? Okay, so Carmelo was born in 2010? Either 2010 or 2011. Point is, he's over a decade old at this point. So they're they're both pretty old. They're like they're about the same age. I'm not really sure when Pickles was how old Pickles is, but she is like around Carmelo's age. Um, and she so she's probably older than him. Uh, so you know, so but again, definitely over, well over ten years old. Not well over, but, you know, over 10 years old. Yeah. Yeah, 12 would be 84 in dog years. Yeah, it is pretty. Yeah, they are pretty old. They lived a pretty long, happy life and pretty comfortable. If I do say so myself. <laughs> oh no, no, Amira, sorry. I'm I'm just like random chat. Let me <laughs> Amira's like, I'm sorry, I'm waiting for a chance to get a reading. <laughs> sorry. I get distracted. Life with my live streams, I I I I I I'll ramble off tangent. My dogs are old. Tangent. I love my dogs. Tangent. They're the best. My dog is eight and acts like a puppy. <laughs> He's a big boy. Aw. I got a real life question. Okay. All questions are real life. All questions are valid, Amira. I'm just kidding. Some of them can be pretty wild. Anyways. Um, okay. So, got the card. Everybody ready? Everybody's ready. Everybody that wants a reading. Are you guys ready? Yes? Yes? Okay, go. <laughs> I know what y'all gonna I know what y'all gonna do when you guess on this one. Not two, not nine, not seven, not five. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. <laughs> Where is she? Here she is. <laughs> I might have given it away with my comment. But Darcy got it. If it'll focus. The devil. Oh, says, I'm playing for fun. Yeah, some people do that. There you go, Darcy. No, she won't be the last one. I think I got it in me for it to go on for longer. So yeah. Yeah. Like well. <laughs> That's right, Darcy. I keep me I keep meaning, and I literally forgot to say I'm like, when is a good time to message? I meant to message you and 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 ask you when a good time is to do uh to do a reading for you in private. Uh but I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. I need to 
like who was it? Was Hopeful Soul? No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Hopeful Soul. Yes. Yes. Anyways. Yeah, because I'm like I'd like to, and I'd like to do more again, private, one on one, in depth. Because again, like Hot Sun, I would have liked to have like a more one on one, like you know, I would have liked for her call in, you know, and and you know, I could have heard her, hear her out, and she could communicate a little better, and it, it, the reading would have gone much much, uh, maybe a little faster, but we could have gotten out, gotten through all that. You know, whatever. But anyways, Darcy, what's your question? <laughs> yeah, I like maybe set up like a phone line or or something to, you know, have like an audio call in or something. I, I don't know because I can host, you know, something in here. But anyways, it would have taken longer. <laughs> Well, I I don't know. It, it's 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 it would have been different. I feel. Well, I'd have to see. Anyways, would it be best for me to forfeit to someone who's in a less tender situation? Huh. This is an interesting question. What do you, let me see. Let me try. I'm like my brain is my brain's trying to register it. Uh, not that I know what people need here. Uh oh oh. oh, oh. I mean, I'm just saying because it's like I. Um, uh, again, just because it's like, it's more public and it's on the internet more so for you and to, and that I know a lot of it and I don't want to be like dancing around the subject and I, I you know, and, and I don't want to like say something that you like shared with me in private that I didn't want to like have out there, you know, uh, that's just the only reason why, but if you're okay with it. I'll do it. Yeah, it's best. That, yeah, it would have been best in conversation. It would have been, again, like, like, it takes, like, about, like, a few seconds to see your response, hot sun, to write it out and all that. Um, uh, so, Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> mm -hmm. Sorry for the yawn. I'm not tired. Okay, maybe I am, but I I still got it in me. I can still do more. I can do more. But again, Darcy, it's up to you. You're just in a fun, like we're both sort of cell shocked right now. So maybe we can shake these boots. Okay. So maybe how do we shake these boots? Okay. I can do that. I can do that. Let me, let me eat that candy after, <laughs> after I do this. Let's see. That's my question. Then I pass the baton. Okay. Because you've been through it, Darcy. <laughs> I'm like, shake these blues. The blues, that's like a, that's putting it lightly. Um,
you're kind of figuring it out there when we should just be when we should be trying to just be yeah it's it's that's where you kind of got to be you know like you can't even like enjoy each other you know and and you know and be with each other you know Well, I mean, you are with each other, but it's like, again, it's like, yeah, like you said, just, just, just trying to just be. And my mom is back, so, but don't worry. It's not like I'm going to hop off anytime soon. in the house but we are both well, we both took our corners started the day before easter mm. how interesting uh, the cards i mean i mean <laughs> how to read it <laughs> how to read it how to go into it how to get into these cards so it seems like it's, yeah, are these, could these be you guys? You know, your your husband and you? It's not arguments or anything. It's like fatigue and I feel particularly wasted. That's probably what it is, fatigue, yeah. Anyways, uh, Yes, I do, Brittany. I also do donations. Uh, but I feel like these are you guys. Would you see him as a Knight of Swords? Because I definitely see you as the artist here, painting, creating, well, not painting, but, you know, artist, creator here. And between you two, you have the world card in the middle. Screenshot it. Oh, okay. Um, here. So it's like, it's these two. Hold on, I hear my mom calling me right in the middle of my reading. And then. I don't know if that's how it goes. No, like this, I showed the cards. This is why I want like the downward angle. So I don't have to hold the cards up. Eh. Yeah, it was like this. This is how the cards showed up for me. See, I like it too. It's like you make your space it's making your space and you know making you know it, the world is your home and it's making your space you know what's interesting is that the sword touches into the world quite a bit um <clears throat> mm -hmm. oh yeah and you guys are both looking at the at the world you know, or while well, facing towards it. But however, you know, the page here is focusing more on what she's painting, 
or drawing in a way. And when she's creating, and on opposite sides, yeah, the world comes between you two in a way as well. I have to burp, but it's like weird. Ugh, it's like a hiccup and a burp. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, um, yeah. Hmm. And it's like the world is kind of supposed to be, uh, yeah, I get, I get, I get a good sign here. Like, it's like the world is supposed to be like harm, harmonizing, you know, it is the world dancer who dances to a tune, the rhythm of the spheres. Uh, and so it, it, there's a harmony to it, you know, uh, I, I hesitate to say that, uh, I got halfway around the world stuck in my head. Um, we need to work on our world harder than I, I, I hesitate to say that. I hesitate to say yes because it's like uh, again, hearing the situation that you're in, I feel like you're 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 pushing yourself a bit too much. Uh, like I said, who's there to care for you? You know, <clears throat> uh, because the bottom of the deck. We're not through this yet. There's something here that we got to talk. And I'm like, of course. At the bottom of the deck, you got the Ten of Swords. And this is definitely that. Uh, there we go. I would say cre as creatively as I tend to. I would say that. I'd say because it goes with their, it goes with the idea of not working harder, but working smarter. You know, put that ingenuity and creativity to work, you know? So yeah, watch. I know she's gonna, she's gonna knock on my door. Oh no, she didn't. Okay. I thought you... <laughs> right, the 10. Right, Darcy. Um, but I love this 10 in how, like you said, there's like a, a, a particular, this, this whole deck is quite peaceful. This is why I kind of picked it. Um, because even though it will show you some harsh cards, like again, like this, like it doesn't soften it too much, but it definitely does show that again, that release, that, you know, that peace for some reason, it's not, obviously it's not, it's not sunshine and happiness and joy, but there's, it's, it's more, it's at least somber but it's, you know, but it's, it's working towards accepting this, you know, which I'm sure you guys have worked, are working through that and working through this acceptance and all that. Um, right. It's to, it, maybe it's get up and stop being a baby. It's, it's, yeah, I'd say it's acceptance. I'd say it's, uh, <clears throat> I say it's uh, it's it's acceptance and letting go. Yeah, that tragedy. You're going through the tragedy, in a way, uh, and it's it's again what's going to happen after the tragedy is over, because I think what's, what what the main focus is something that's been coming up is uh, that I've been thinking about. Um, what I've been thinking about is uh, the. Um, because again, I'm, 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 I'm slightly concerned over, over you overstraining yourself. And it's when we overwork ourselves or work ourselves to extreme exhaustion. Well, I mean, maybe that's exaggeration, but, uh, extreme exhaustion. And then you finally have that break, your body kind of slingshots and snaps and you kind of like, and, and you get really, really ill. And it, because your body's just like resting to recuperate from going through what you just went through. 
you know, and, and, and when you finally have that chance to recover, it kind of like takes a detriment there. Your body just kind of slightly shuts down a bit. Thank you, Sylvan. I try, Sylvan. <laughs> uh, I'm living in the tragedy, but yes, after is after is a big not known, a bit not known, or big unknown. Uh, that part is scary. Yeah, it's it's the yeah when this is done and over with. Where are you going? You know what's going to come after? You know when when the sun sets. You know, what What are you going to do the next day? You know? And because he, I'm pretty sure he'd clearly be ready. Um, he clearly wants you to live a fulfilling and happy life. You know? Even if he's not a part of that. You know? Um, so, yeah. And... Happiness. Uh, right now, I'm doing Darcy's reading. So yeah, like, take a seat. Plenty of other people want a reading too. You're not the only one. So, think creatively, tend to your world, and, you know, yeah, 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 I, I, I'm trying to, trying to, 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 to bring it back in and then, and, and wrap it all up. <laughs> yeah, I really like this deck too. I was like, this is, this is the deck that she needs. I'm like, she, she needs a reading from this deck. And this deck always comes in a clutch. It's quite therapeutic i feel and and uh it's like a it's like a i don't know like a as terror of the holy light calls its ace of cups uh it's a balm uh, a soothing balm uh for 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 healing yeah you need to you need to get up you need to Stop overstressing. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> like, like I don't know how to how to describe it because what you're going through is quite stressful. So it's like to just say, just stop stressing about. It. Like, yeah, great, great job. <laughs> like that's real helpful advice. Um, uh, but yeah, this is the Maraloon Tarot. I believe that's what it's called, Maraloon, right? Let me see. Did I... Yeah, I see it here, Maraloon Tarot. Someone's selling it on Mercari. What is this? That's interesting. Clary Sageman, what is this? Yeah, it's on Game Crafter. Right? No. Right? Yeah. Oh, I guess it is. I don't know. Let me go back. I am Confucian because it's here on my playing cards. And I believe that this is where I got it from. I can hear my dog bar pickles barking. Here, let me. I'm like, you have that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's the link on make playing cards. Uh but yeah, stop lying around. Yeah, that's usually what the Ten of Swords says. It's like it's kind of saying to get up. <laughs> yeah. Look for it, maybe do a reading for yourself with it, you know? And then so because I quite like it. I like its softness too. And and but it's soft, but it's not like nice washing, you know. I, that's what I like about it. You know, there's something just she ate in conclusion.
<laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm talking about my dog. Her influence. She's, you know, who is it? Canned pickled goods. Big canned pickled goods needs to, you know, give me a sponsorship. You know, you're welcome, Darcy. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, you, you really did. I wish I could have done it sooner. You know, but that was on me. I just life gets in the way, and I just. It can be forgetful at times and get distracted. So, yeah. Yeah, I feel like this deck is what... This deck is like what the White Sage Tarot wants to be. <laughs> Which, you know, no, no Tino Shade to White Sage Tarot. But, yeah. So there you go, Darcy. Uh, I hope... I, I wish you luck. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is. It's it, we were. I just did a reading for Darcy uh, with it. Um, toadstool. I mean, look at this hierophant. It's simple yet it, it, it's comforting. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, but like time and place, you know. <laughs> Yes, also a really cool back design. You see it, you know it. Yeah. So anyways, <laughs> anyways. Uh, so yeah, to carry on, uh, there are no disturbing cards in that entire deck. Yeah, like, and, and that doesn't mean, that. mind you, I'm like, I'm like, how does one, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can still get a, a creepy reading, but it's, yeah, there's no disturbing cards at all. But again, it's not like, I'm not like, I don't want to say it's like nice washing or anything because again, it, 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 it addresses the issues. It addresses the problems. It doesn't tell you to just think positively and show you like love and light bullshit. You know, it, it, it's yeah. <laughs> yes, but that's not my yeah. the favorite. That's not mine. That's not his. So yeah. Um, okay. So. Let me before let me let me go see what my mom was calling me for to see what's up, uh, and I'll be right back, and then we'll do another guess the numbers reading. So I'll be back real soon because I got a card here, but not yet. Please wait a second. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Uh, I think it's a big city. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, I think the creator of Maryloon lives in the Pacific Northwest. <gasps> like we're like Oregon, Washington. I don't know. Seems like a yeah. A lot of artists. I feel like a lot of good like artists up there. I don't know. Anyways, anyways. Um, who else here? Roll call. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see. It was on both Make Playing Cards and Purchase Studios, but I'm not sure if both are still there. I think the Purchase Studio or Game Crafter one is on linen stock. I've got the other one. I have the one with smooth finish. I got mine from Make Playing Cards like a few years back. But yeah. All right, Sylvan. Thanks for stopping by. Let's see. You're gonna... <laughs> the girl gets still waiting for me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I've been eating, yeah, ice cream's been, I, I like, I like thrifty ice cream a lot. The, the, the chocolate malted crunch thrifty ice cream. I've been really liking that. Anyways, anyways. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, mine, mine's the smooth finish. I like, I'm, I'm fine with the smooth finish. I don't think it needs the linen. I, I think the smooth matches it. <laughs> I think the smooth finish matches the deck. So yeah. Also, my nephew. Every time, like every time we mention ice cream, when when recently he'd be like, "Do you guys have ice cream sandwiches?" I'm like, "We don't have ice cream sandwiches." <laughs> I guess that's a sign. We should get a get a get a little case, a little box of ice cream sandwiches for them. It's been a minute since I've had one. Anyways, moving on. Who makes chocolate malted? Thrifty. Thrifty is what it's called. You can get them at Rite Aid here in the US. I don't know where you're at. Right here in the US, Darcy. Uh, tactile sensibility in tarot is everything. Yeah, like how the cards fit in the hand. And yeah, like I, like I was just talking about this earlier in the stream when I got the Morgan Greer uh, uh, because I read, I, I did a reading with it. Did I get right? Yes, I did. <laughs> and I was like, I want the full size. I just want the standard tarot size of this. Uh, and because I'm like, as much as, as nice as this is, I like this mini deck. I want, I just feel like the, the full size is going to have that. <clears throat> You're across the country. So you're going to be able to see the eclipse, right, Darcy? I remember, right? Massachusetts, right? Is that where you're at? Do you guys not have a Rite Aid? Do you guys not have Rite Aid over there? I don't know where else ha where else has thrifty ice cream. Not Walmart, but um, I'm like I could have sworn it was, maybe it was Vallarta here. Anyways, I love my Centennial in the can. I took it everywhere. Oh yeah, in the tin. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm like Centennial. What ice cream is that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll take it. Yeah, yes, I'll see it. Yeah, I'm like I, 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 I'm like for portability. I don't, I don't take tarot with me portably. I mean, I don't have the ability to, unless I were to like have like a bag with me. I'm not, eh, you know, maybe a backpack, but still. Yeah, look at the freezer section and 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 because Rite Aid, if your Rite Aid sells ice cream, that's thrifty ice cream. And that's that's good ice cream. For me at least. I like it. Someone in the comments is gonna be like, thrifty, I hate thrifty. You know, or whatever. Or thrifty, they did this. And I'm like, 
I gotta, I gotta not enjoy something I enjoy, but yeah. Uh, yeah, and the tin, yeah. I know what you meant, Darcy. I, it took me a second. I was like, wait, the can? Ice cream in a can? Hmm. And I'm like, oh, wait, Centennial, the right away Smith in a tin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't, do I? Yeah, I have that one. I do have one of those. I got rid of it, and then somehow it came back to me. I don't know how. Yeah, I have it here. I like the box on it. I did like I do like the Centennial Edition cover art. This is great. You know, they ate. She ate with that. Did I do anything with this? I didn't write on it, did I? No, I didn't. Yeah, I just. Yeah, but I don't use it because I think it's too matted. So yeah. Yeah, that's not what I'm. That's not. A, uh, I buy it for everyone. <laughs> How nice! Like to gift someone a tarot deck. Yeah, yeah, that's smart. Yeah, yeah, a mini tarot. Yeah, it's it's a good size. I have it. I have plenty of mini decks. I like the mesquite tarot as well. Uh, that's one that I really think of when it comes to minis. Uh, but I really like this one here, the inversion tarot. Um, I kept meaning to to get a copy of the original like inverted colors like the original black and white one where this is where it's where it's black on white and this is white on black it's in it's an inversion of the original uh i don't know what it's called uh, i think y has a few of them but yeah they have pretty sharp edges for me not so much maybe this one a bit but the, they aren't so sharp like other decks that i have See, look at this hermit. I like I like their faces. Like it's very in line with the very Marseille inspired. Come on, show that Empress face. Show her show her face. She ain't no diva. Come on. No? No? Okay, don't. I guess not. Let's show a different one. Yeah, it's a pip deck. Yeah, hot sun, it's a pip deck. Yeah, like here's the four of swords. Yeah, because of the lamination, it probably wouldn't work. Yeah. I don't like pip decks. I feel like you don't get your money's worth. I I, I feel like uh, I go back and forth. Like, I, I would like to see. Uh, uh, I, I would like to see some more images because I do like this art. I would like to see her, the artist that made this. Uh, you know, try her hand out on uh, on like drawing the scenes on that. Uh, but I wouldn't say it's lazy because I mean it's it's I, I I do find that these are unique. Like again, like the Four of Swords, you don't really see a Four of Swords in like the Marseille like that. It looks very minimalist, but yeah. Here's the Eight of Cups. Again, it's and it's. Yeah, it's it's supposed to be stripped back, and what allows what the what the pip decks, as they say, um, uh, it, it's it, what 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 the what am I saying? It it allows you to layer on more easily what you want because again, the, the, the you can layer on correspondences more easily i guess that, that you can vibe with more you know but again but the point is is that is that i 
don't want the mini Morgan Gray anymore. <laughs> well, I'd want it for its practicality and its travelability, you know, if I go on a trip or something and I want to have decks available for me to be uh, portable and on the go with me. But again, I, I, how I go, it'd be more in my back pocket or something. Uh, and uh, and this and this isn't, you know, and a tin. Yeah. Anyways. Barbara Moore's wizard deck is great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was cool. I think it's out of print. Did it come back? Apparently it's out of print. I don't know. Barbara Moore's a, a, a good writer, I think. <laughs> I think. I'm trying to remember if I read anything from her in terms of tarot guidebooks. But yeah. But yeah, I, I'm going to get the full size of the Morgan Greer. I just feel like I feel like it, like my 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 knuckles, my knuckles and my joints and my hands are aching for the full size. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, we'll see when I get it because there are quite a few decks that I want that I do plan on getting, but I also but there's a ton that I want to get rid of. I want to move along, you know, because uh, like. You know, I just haven't reached for them. I have no interest in reading with them. You know, full sizes. The full size is hard for me to handle. It's wider. Yeah, I, uh, I'm like for me. I'm like I'm blessed with big manly hands, so I don't have to worry about that too much. <laughs> it is like I like the smaller too, but not too small. Yeah. Uh, the Radiant Rider is nice too. I had the Radiant Rider. It was, I believe, the Radiant Rider was my first Rider Waite Smith, but then I ended up going with. I ended up moving that one along. I should have kept the book to it. I like the book for the, the the Pictorial Key Edition, but I got it in a complete set later recently. So yeah. Anyways, uh, I have Chiquita Banana Swans. <laughs> Chiquita Banana Swans. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I got this one, the, the AGM Tarot of AE Weight, this version, uh, and I like the line work on here. It's crisp. It's clean. The colors are nice and are, are cool enough. They're not super bright. Right, I'm not a big fan of Fally. I'm not a Fally 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 packs. I'm not a big fan of Fanny packs, but I might I might get one. I might get one. I might have I might have my tarot. I might have my weed pen in there. I might have my <laughs> you know. I might have uh you know uh who knows what else I'll have in there. But yeah, um, yeah, I like the crackle back on it too. Um, but uh, and this is my go to anytime I read. This is my go to right away, Smith. Uh, but yeah, but for small hands, I, I'm like, I, I, I wish the I got a thing purse. You might like, <laughs> uh, you might like that. I, I'm like, oh, I'll have to see. It. I, I have some bags, so yeah. Matt will be disappointed with my small. <laughs> Maybe he'll like them. <laughs> no, wait, I was gonna. I was going to say something, but no. No, 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 no. Uh, it goes around the waist, but can be strapped to your thigh and hangs down. I love oh, a thigh. Oh, a thigh. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. Okay, okay, maybe, maybe. I also have car cargo shorts, <laughs> but I have cargo shorts. Like, I have this, but, like, it's so awkward to have, like, pockets have stuff dangling by your thighs like that but i think like a thigh on the strap whatever keeps the dangling to a minimum so yeah <laughs> a handshake purse let's see i see them marketed to men mostly but i love them let me see this a thigh purse let me see i think i know what you're talking about thigh thigh purse yeah, I see a lot of I, the the first few picks are a bunch of a bunch of 
uh, or a bunch of uh, uh, or a bunch of ladies here. <laughs> I was trying to make a joke, but I couldn't. This one's that's a man. That's a man. That's a man. <laughs> I'd probably find one that's like probably like genuine leather. Sorry to the vegans. I might do that, but it looks so like Ren Fair almost, or almost like too out of place. But it looks practical though. They don't call them purses for men. I mean, yeah, but like I'm like it's a purse, it's a bag. God forbid. I have cargo pants, but hate having the pockets so full to keep that. Yeah, I don't like things in the pockets. The pockets actually, I think the pockets kind of look a little cool. But having actual things in cargo shorts and those extra pockets, just no, 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 no. Yeah. Man purses have been around forever. They're just bags. It's just once once we've projected gender onto the word purse, and it's like, no, it's a man bag. I'm like, okay, it's whatever, you know? Black just looks less Renfair. Yeah, like leather, brown leather makes it look Renfair. And again, it depends on what you're wearing. Uh, yeah. I'm like, but, or a backpack, but like a backpack, it's like, what are, what are you going to school? Anyways. Then what is the use of cargo pants? I don't know if you don't use it. The look, Sid, the look, the look, L-E, L-E-W-K look. All right. I like how they just, just became talking about cargo shorts and not about readings anymore. Uh, let's see. I also kind of like smallish sh shoulder purses that will fit tucked under your arm. Hide your tarot in your armpit. <laughs> yeah, like those. There's like these new bags that are like, honestly, like a small pocket that are like, you can fit a phone and maybe a wallet and that's it. And I'm like, yeah, that's perfect for a deck. Like a deck is about the same dimensions as a phone and a wallet together yeah i don't care how i look yeah i'm not like super particular but i do know that it's like if it's somewhere i have to be that's a little bit nicer i am gonna dress a little nicer you know but for the most part i don't i don't care <laughs> jeans and a shirt and that's me like more nicer comfortable casual if I'm in, uh, like, I like, I prefer to be in sweats and shorts, like those like soft, short, the soft material, shorts made out of that soft sweat material. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> I drove my mom nuts. <laughs> Guys just get away with it. I mean, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, they do. Like guys can just walk out in like gym shorts and basketball shorts and and a tank top and you know, it's like a little it's not as bad, but yeah. If a guy is showered and has clothes one, it is all look at him. <laughs> yeah, oh look at he's look at how nice. <laughs> Let's see. I'm so crazy. I carry my home in a shoulder bag. I've got to have all my needs in there. Tarot, shawl, water, snack, musical instrument, a book, my glasses. It probably weighs 20 pounds. <laughs> what is, like, what, how big is this bag? What sign are you, Toadstool? <laughs> you see, I, well, yeah, I do too. What am I saying? Well, not really. Like, I don't go everywhere. I don't go, uh, I don't, like, go anywhere and everywhere with the thing. Like, again, like, if I'm, like, 
on the go on the or whatever if i go to a park or if i go somewhere you know i do like if i'm taking or you know doing some shopping around you know i wouldn't i wouldn't want the whole thing like that you know <laughs> you must be very muscular <laughs> I'm like I don't know. I I wasn't very muscular, and I had like tons of textbooks in high school in my in my in my backpack. <laughs> I sort of looked towards. <laughs> Well, because of the bag, because you have that heavy bag. Okay, so I, okay, so I am, <laughs> I, I'm running out of things to talk about because we can only talk about decks for so much. Uh, and it's already, we're already two and a half hours. So, uh, I don't know. I feel like chiropractors, we, we just found a new subject. Tangent, I think chiropractors are a scam. Tangent, the popping of the back actually does feel really good. But tangent, does it really solve anything? <laughs> I think we're going to Just bring a suitcase with you wherever you go to the store. You know, just bring a luggage bag or something, you know, with the wheels on it. Or just travel around in the caravan, you know, I feel like that would work better. A wagon. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> like the great pioneers on the Oregon Trail. I was afraid of a chiropractor because of all those movies where villains kill people by stuffing their necks. I've had that done to me a few times. And it's it's it is a little like, ooh, like, yeah, you can break a neck, but they don't like they don't do it like that. It's just like a quick and small little movement that and it's not like they're going all the way, but no, you can ask them not to. If if it's you know, if your neck doesn't bother you, then you don't have to. But like I said, chiropractors are, you know. Uh, are again I don't think I, I think I I think they're a bit of a scam I don't trust them <laughs> I'd rather do I I'd do acupuncture before I do chiropractor you know <laughs> it sort of helped at least he was cute it was worth risking death and where is he now a tarot wagon, pretty much. That's what I need, Darcy. Yeah, a tarot wagon. No, not really. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I need a mobile tarot cabinet to just carry on my back. <clears throat> In the summer, I have a 1968 vintage camper trailer where I do readings. Oh, really? You see, that's what I think. I need to. I need to start. Like, how do y'all uh, acupuncture is far better? There we go. There you go. I believe it. I believe it. Like, just you know, prick me in the right spot, and I'm and I and I feel like that could fix me. You know. Oh yeah, I feel like. Oh, absolutely. I totally agree with that. Like, you're. This is supposed to be like a relaxing thing, and then like communication is stimulating if she's asking you stuff and asking you for a response it's taking you out of it like i'd probably like it if they were like rambling on about nothing but not really expecting an answer like you know i would have been more comfortable i'd be kind of comfortable with that but silence is preferred or like okay i'm about to do this or this is what i'm going to do next or whatever you know But anyways, so like when it comes to like setting up shop for in-person readings, how do you go about that? How do y'all do that? How do people do that? You know, 
because I'm able to do what Darcy is doing, you know, get get a camper and just do readings out of it, you know. Um, who was it? There's there's someone on Instagram that I follow. I like their content. Uh, they do some cool merchandise with the Rider Waite Smith imagery, uh, and they have like literally they have a caravan wagon thing that they turned into a little mini tarot reading studio. It looks really cool. Um, that's a, that's a bit much, but I'm like I'm just like. How do you go out and do it yourself, you know? Uh, let's see. It wasn't even about symptoms. It was gossipy, chatty. Right. Yeah. I mean, come on. I want to experience bliss. Yeah. 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 Just if you go back to that same place where you go, request a different worker, you know, request that like, no. Or if she is, be like, don't, don't talk, you know, sort of like getting a haircut. Don't talk to me, you know? I'm like, I, I, the haircuts are too anxiety giving, you know, because right, I'm not a big fan of them. Which is how I ended up with this type of hair. Look at this hair. Hmm. 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 Let me see. Let me start putting some of these away because we are, we're pretty much done with reading. <laughs> And I'm gonna hop off of this pretty soon. I think we'll, I think we'll cut it off. Uh, it, we'll, uh, cut it off uh, at the three-hour mark. Where's that box? Where'd that box go? You okay, pickles? You good, girl? Okay, yeah, she's good. <laughs> Uh, let's see. If you have a car, you could advertise a drive-through service where you're in a parking lot and they pull up alongside the driver. I think that's total. I think that's cruising. <laughs> Tarot cruising. <laughs> let's see. Well, I've been to reading. I've, well, I've been reading for decades, so people just knew I read. Then I just started. A, I started at festivals. You see, we have. So we here where I live, we have what's called the Kern County Fair. And so there's that, but I wouldn't know how to get my foot in the door there. I don't know how you approach it. And I feel like when you have that, you got to have like a, a setup at least. You got to look professional in a way. You got to have a good look setup done, you know, and I got to figure that out, you know. Oh, okay. Uh, dear friend in solo practice. So it was hard to say, stick me with all the needles. Uh, you won't, but shut up. Uh, well, you just say, like, uh, yeah, that's what you got to tell, like, girl, like, let's, let's enjoy the silence, please. The camper is Ray's baby. Oh, okay. It sits in the driveway and he likes to camp out in it, but I set the mood in there and it's my tarot spot all summer. Oh, oh, okay. 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 So, so you don't like take it out and do reading. Spot. Okay. 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 But still, if you have it set up and it looks the part, you know, like you gotta make it look like a like a like a little mini like temple in a way, like a sacred space. It's there, you know. That's that's another thing. I wanna start putting more of that intention in into my readings as well. Uh there it is. There's the box, you know. Let's see. Uh, I'd probably arrange to meet at a cafe, but you'd have to have appointments in advance. You can't look like you're conducting business under their shop. That's the thing. I, if I were to do something like that, I would contact the shop and be like, hey, you know, can I do readings out of your space, you know, or whatever, you know. There's a few spots that I think maybe, maybe, but again, I'd have to, I have to see how it goes and like, what's the legality of it, you know? Um, I was set up at festivals, not hard to achieve. County fair is easy. Yeah, go to their website and look up how to become a vendor. Okay. And also, I don't know. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, is there, are there readers? I'm like, I'd wonder. I'd have to, and the thing is, I haven't been to the Kern County Fair in forever. Uh, and I'm like, I don't know what it's like. You know, I'll probably go, maybe I'll go this year, right? Is it coming up? This autumn, I think. But yeah. Um, yeah, maybe. We'll see. We shall see.
I have a 10 by 10 for my art shows, but something much smaller for tarot. It's cozy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because you also want something, because I feel like with tarot, it's like you kind of want it a little more intimate, a little more closed off so people don't feel like they're too exposed, you know? Sorry. Dog wanted to go out again. Yeah, yeah, okay. You see, and, and it's like I I'd be I'd be doing I'd be like I'd like I want I want I want compensation for my readings. I'd want to be paid for my readings, you know. Um see I might do that. I might do that. I, and again, I'd have to look at the again, look at the laws and see what like what what it is there to do that and like like hopefully you know because I, I haven't seen anything that's like too bad here but i mean this place we like we don't have like a lot of like like there's only one metaphysical shop and there was a tarot reader here but they closed shop like years ago like this was even they closed shop before even before covid you know so yeah just to read in washington park i might do that i might do that and just you know but i don't know again how do you make it so that it's inviting for people to come up to you and be like, oh, can I get a reading? You know? Um, yeah, Venmo or probably like, I have PayPal, but I should set up Venmo or uh, the Square app, right? Is that what it's called? Square Cash, something like that. There's other, there's other, there's other systems. I need to get all of them so that it's more easily, so I can get paid easier. So people are like, mm, I only use this, except Apple Pay. Apple can choke. I will discriminate against Apple users to the day I die. I'm just kidding. If that's what you use and that's what you like, sure. But just so you know, you've been judged. Uh, Renaissance Festival. Oh, yeah. But then when did I have to get dressed up? When I have to get dressed up for it, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. Maybe I could. What did it go as? Anyways. Um... I am in California, but I'm nowhere near a beach. <laughs> and in the places where I do go, I wouldn't like the sand. I would not want sand near my decks. That's why I probably would get like a deck that can withstand, or I wouldn't take anything that I really care for. Like I wouldn't, like I'm not gonna. Then I wouldn't. I wouldn't pull this out in places like that. Uh, oh, thank you, Darcy. I'd really appreciate that. I'm an apple. Never mind, Darcy. I don't want your help. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Darcy is the only valid Dar Apple user in my eyes. Darcy is the only one that's valid. Okay? Everyone else, you're on thin ice. You'd rock it if you did. I'd have to I'd have to see what I would what I would be. I'd have to look at something. I I have to think about what I'd what I'd wear. What, what would I wear? You know, um but but yeah, I'm like I am in California, and I think uh, I could go to other places in California to, to you know. Now that I literally the reason why I was late, uh, I checked the mail. I don't know. If, I don't know who this is. Yeah, Delphi stays home. Yeah, Delphi stays home. You come to me if you want to experience the Delphi because I love the Delphi. Uh, yeah, I'd probably yeah I'd probably invest in that too, a credit card reader. Um, but I have tags on my car. I got a car. I have tags on it. I finally got tags on it. It's under our name now, uh, from from the person that we bought it from, and <laughs> and then I just need my license. It's it's almost it's over for you bitches. When I get my, <laughs> uh, I use Square for you see. I might use the Square. I might use that. But uh, wait, isn't that Apple? Anyways, ew no. <laughs> No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Kids are not coming anywhere near my cards. No, 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 no. I never let any kid near my cards. No, no, mm -mm. no, no. Y'all can. Not me. No. And what are you trying to say, Tosul? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, okay, the rest are going bags.
Couldn't be me. Would never be me. I would never. I would never chase a kid. <laughs> I would never chase a kid. <laughs> yeah, even, like when my nieces and nephews, when I need them to come to me, they come to me. Also, hello, Mona Araisa. Sorry, we're not, I'm not doing readings right now. I'm actually gonna hop off soon because dinner's calling. But yeah, uh, the reader is free. Oh, I'll have to look at it. I'd have to set it up. I'd have to set up the business, you know, I'd have to do the work to set up the business and whatever. Would it be called a business? Yeah, would it be called a business? To set up these services and I'd have to figure it out. There's still more things that I'd want to work on and, and you know, figure out. And like I said, I want to do more than just three card readings. I want to do more bigger spreads and all that. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot to do Like, I need to do relationship spreads. Like, I should have done one for Hot Sun. For her, or no, was it Hot Sun? Yes, it was Hot Sun. <laughs> uh, for her relationship with, uh, yeah, right? <sighs> yeah, that relationship spread from the Mary Altera would have been perfect for her reading. But anyways, anyways, yeah, I'll have to look into that. And I'd also like to offer like other services but any, or other things, you know? Yeah, obviously, like the wind and the weather. Yeah, if it rains, which is why I used to have a plastic tarot deck. I used to have a plastic right away at Smith, and that was my go-to for a while. Um, but I gifted that to my sister because my sister, my sister got into tarot. I got one, but she does. She's not like crazy collecting like I am. Like anything that I'm not using that I think she'll like, I offer to her and I give it to her. And she's and she, yeah, she has a few decks, but not a lot. Um, <laughs> all right good good all right yes please do darcy because i'm like i i need i need guidance <laughs> you know i'm like yeah yeah yes and thank you for stopping by thank you everyone for stopping by and the gutter reading and yeah and <laughs> sorry if i sorry if this was this was a very lazy live stream but i just went live to go live and also i did well i did like three readings this should not be called free live tarot readings, but again, this is usually how these live streams go. They go off topic. They get, they get, they, I haven't, I haven't gone like this in a while. Uh, so yeah. Well, thank you, Toadstool. I try. I try. That's the point. Like, I'm like, I'm here at the end of the day with these live streams. There's partial entertainment with these, you know, I have to keep you engaged. I have to keep it exciting. But yes, I will go get dinner. It's already going to be three hours. So thank you, everyone, for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, yes, I will be here tomorrow. Yes. I think around the same time. I might go again at 3.30. 3.30, 4.30. I think I'll do 4.30. Uh, and yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. And yeah, I don't know what else. I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Notification bell. Hit it so you know when I go live again. It's very convenient. So, yeah. Okay. Bye, everyone. <laughs>